Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna make some crystal bones. So many of you have been requesting me to make a tutorial on this and now I finally am. And they are so beautiful. Look at them, they're beautiful. So the first thing you're gonna need is some sort of bone. I have a horse vertebrae, it's very beautiful. Found it out in a field. Then you're gonna need some sort of pot dedicated to gross things. This is my skull pot and I only put gross things in it. It's adequately labeled so that we don't get food mixed in it because that's kind of gross. All right, next you're gonna need a bucket. This bucket is what your bones are going to sit in in their borax crystal solution. Next, you're gonna need a dowel and some fishing line. This is gonna hold your bones up in the crystal solution. Food dye. Now, food dye does fade a little bit. This, when I made it, was hot pink, and now it's like a pastel pink, which I don't hate, I think it's really pretty, but food dye. And last but not least, you're gonna need a lot of borax. My skulls took at least two boxes, but they're only like five to seven dollars a piece, so who cares? All right, let's head down to the kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is fill your bucket up with water so that you know exactly how much water you need for your solution. Now just start adding your borax. I use two full boxes of it. And for the measurements, you're going to stir it in until you do not see any more. So once it starts building up at the bottom, that means that the water will not dissolve it anymore and you are good. I added about 30 drops of blue food dye and 15 drops of purple food dye. Just make sure that your water is really dark. Now just add your crystal solution to the bucket. And if you're like me and spool things all over the floor, make sure you have a towel down. So the crystal sat for about 12 hours. Probably should have added a lot more food dye, but that's okay. It's still really pretty. Now you're just gonna try and dry your crystals as best as you can. I did fail to mention that you do need to use a clear coat. This is the Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover Satin Clear. And here is the finished product. I love how chunky the crystals came out and the bone is dyed pink. All right guys, just remember that your borax crystals are very delicate. You wanna make sure that you do not get them wet and also just keep them in a really safe spot so they don't get bumped around. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer whatever questions I can. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this video so I can make more spooky tutorial videos. If you guys would like to follow me on any of my social media platforms, I left the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Bye.